Hey, I'm Nate Navarro, and this is the Quad Cortex from Neural DSP. Its cutting edge quad core shark architecture packs 2 GHz of dedicated DSP processing power, making it the most powerful floor modeler on the planet. You can rack up complex signal chains like splitting your base into four paths and having two effects loops running on any of them and sending each path's output to a different source for a monster rig. Or you can divide your signal into multiple frequency bands with differing effects and amp and cab sims on each of them and then send it all to a single output. And you can even have two separate players running different signal chains with their own inputs and outputs at the same time all with imperceptible latency and the phenomenal tones that Neural DSP is known for. The Quad Cortex comes preloaded with a growing list of over 50 amps, 70 effects, 1000 impulse responses, and some incredible features like Wi-Fi firmware updates, no computer required, and Cortex Mobile, where you can follow artists and creators and download their presets for free, as well as Neural Capture, which captures the sounds of your favorite amps, cabs, overdrives, and distortion pedals, precisely digitizes their character, and then stores them within itself. It's pretty amazing. We'll get to those later, but first, the most popular request I had from you guys was to show clean bass tones. So let's listen to some of those now, and while we're doing that, I'll show you how presets are made and how to navigate through them. If at any point you want to hear the bass parts on their own, I have them all isolated at the end of the video. Here's a blank preset giving you my dry tone straight from the quad cortex. Add a virtual device block by pressing the plus sign on the touchscreen. Blocks range in type from amps, cabs, and neural captures to a variety of effects and effects loops. Let's select an amp. And now a cab. Blocks can be moved around to change their order in a path, or to make space for new blocks on either side of them. Here's how you can add a compressor, for example. Blocks can also be moved vertically to create splits in the chain, or to make copies. To delete a block, drag it to the top right of the screen. Tap any block to see its available parameters, and adjust them with the touch screen or with the rotary foot switches. When you're ready, you can save a preset by tapping the save icon in the upper right, giving it a name and tags if you like, and finish by pressing save. Let's pan through a few clean bass presets I made earlier. The Quad Cortex allows you to switch between preset mode, scene mode, and stomp mode with these two foot switches. Each mode gives you a different approach to accessing your desired sounds. For example, want to keep your amp and cab settings constant, but add an octaver on the verse of the song and overdrive on the chorus? Use stomp mode to remain on a single preset and engage or bypass those effects individually. If you have a few effects that you want to change in varying combinations, use scene mode for that. There's a lot you can do here with just one preset, and the Quad Cortex has 32 banks of 8 presets for 256 presets total. Doug Castro, the CEO of Neural DSP, posted a really cool clip of the Quad Cortex getting the Muse Hysteria sound. So let's jump onto Cortex Mobile, download the preset, and see what we can make of it. 
All right, so here I am in the app. I'm going to search for hysteria. There it is. Now I'll star this preset and it'll instantly show up on my quad cortex through Wi Fi. On the quad cortex, tap the upper left to access the directory menu. Scroll down to presets. Here are some others I've starred. And here we have Hysteria. Downloading. And I'll save it to a preset slot. Save. Done. And we're ready to rock. Now for one of the coolest features I've seen, Neural Capture. As I mentioned earlier, it captures the sound of your favorite amps, cabs, overdrives, and distortion pedals, precisely digitizes their character, and then stores them within itself. I have here a deluxe bass Big Muff that I really like. Let's capture it. I'll tap the upper right of the Quad Cortex to view the main menu, and select Neural Capture. Now the Quad Cortex will guide me through the process and give me some tips along the way to make a successful capture. All right, my bass is plugged into return one. I'm monitoring through XLR. Capture out is connected to the input of my pedal. And the output of my pedal is connected to input one. There's no need for a mic when capturing pedals. Yep, just confirming that everything is connected. No ground loop in this case, and I'm coming directly from an instrument. The pedal I'm capturing is set just how I like it, so now I'll get the instrument and pedal levels. When setting levels, I'll typically play harder than usual and set the input value to wherever it starts clipping slightly. Okay, those levels seem cool to me. Let's go for it. All right, it's finished processing. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, I'm impressed and the implications are very exciting. I can now bring my entire library of overdrive and distortion pedals with me to every gig and arrange them however I want within each preset with different amp and cab sims and additional effects. And not only this, I'm really looking forward to seeing a multitude of amp, cab, and pedal captures shared by the Cortex community. I'll share my deluxe base Big Muff capture publicly on Cortex Mobile for you to download and do whatever you want with it. And if you have something cool, I encourage you to do the same. This concludes my demo of the Quad Cortex from Neural DSP. I certainly did not do it justice, there was just so much I had to cut out for the sake of time. So go find out more at NeuralDSP.com. I'm Nate Navarro. Take care.